The wine I'm about to taste is a sparkling wine from northern Italy, from the Trentino region, uh, where the appellation is Trento Doc, and it's called Rotari Flavio Reserva. It's a Blanc de Blanc made purely from Chardonnay. And it's a 2013 vintage, so it's got quite a bit of age on it. It's now nine, nine years old, uh, which is very mature for a sparkling wine. Rotari is the sparkling brand of the Gruppo Mezza Corona, which is one of the biggest wineries in northern Italy, who I th I'm told produce 48 million bottles of wine a year, which is a lot of wine. They specialise in Pinot Grigio, they do a number of Pinot Grigio still wines, but they also do a number of Rotari sparkling wines. This one is the top sparkling wine, so it's being the top wine, the flagship, it's got extra age on it, it's not cheap, it's $80 a bottle, and um, it's uh, a, a really mature wine. So the Mezza Corona winery has 1,600 grower members, in other words, 1,600 grape growers who sell their grapes every year to this cooperative. And having that huge resource of grapes in the Trentino Alto Adige area uh, means that they, have, they can do a big range of wines and a good range of quality levels. So very, very inexpensive, good value wines at the bottom, right up to this sort of thing, $80 sparkling wine at the top. So, how does it taste? Let's have a look. It's a really nice uh, yellow colour, light yellow colour. It's not too dark. Um, it's, in other words, it's been ageing gracefully. It hasn't been ageing too fast. And the bubbles, of course, are fine and lazy. And, uh, yeah, there's a, it's not ex especially sparkling in the glass, but it's, it's certainly adequate. Let's have a taste. A really nice nose. It's got a lot of bready character there, a lot of secondary uh, aged character from maturation on the yeast leaves, bready, toasty, particularly toasty characters. Uh, toasted bread, in other words, or grilled bread, um, is very, very, very prominent amongst the bouquet of that wine. There are fruit characters there too, citrus fruit, peachy fruit characters, but they're very much in the background. And it's the mature, developed character, the complexity of age, which is coming through first and foremost. There's a little bit of smokiness there. There's a, hmm, pretty interesting. There's almost a touch of toffee and caramel in there as well. Let's have a taste. It tastes rich, mellow, quite full-bodied sparkling wine, as you'd expect with that age but it's not a, a big broad wine as you might expect with Pinot Noir in it. It's pure Chardonnay, so it has a bit more delicacy, a bit more restraint, a bit more finesse. But those toasty, buttered toast and, uh, and brioche characters come through quite strongly on the palate. A bit of a croissant sort of character there. Uh, there is fruit there, but it's again, the richness of bottle age characters or lees age characters, which are conferring a great deal of complexity and richness and fullness on this wine. It's um, a very satisfying glass of wine to drink. How do we score it? We scored it 92 out of 100, which is a good silver ribbon score. And we've said pretty much drink it now, drink it now and over the next two or three years for the best results. I don't think it's going to get any better than it is now. They've aged it for us. They've given it, um, um, you know, a lot of age. They've done us a great service by giving it nine years of age before they've released it. Um, no need to age it further. And I do notice on this neck tag here that it won a, a Trebicchieri at the Gambaro Rosso, which is Italy's leading wine guide. Trebicchieri means three wine glasses and that's the highest rating. So they obviously love it over there in Italy as well. So the dish that we've chosen to serve with this wine is the Chermola Snapper. That is Snapper that's been, uh, that's been marinated in Chermola. I think it would go very well with this wine. Good health.